control T pops up the tempo window. And this is important because you can't actually alter the tempo through the transport window. You have to go into the tempo track window. And again, that's control T. And you can uh, make adjustments. You can actually automate tempo changes, any things like that. It's really easy to do. Uh, let's see, other shortcuts. Obviously, control S is save. Control Z is undo. Uh, control C is copy. Control V is paste. Those are standard in any program. Uh, F11 brings up this little window, which is VST Instruments. If you're going to load up a soft synthesizer, this is the place to do it. And then using F3, we can route the MIDI channel to the soft synth after it's been loaded in the VST Instruments window. So right now I have battery loaded in here, and that's Native Instruments. I have reactor, which is also Native Instruments. Contact 2, which is Native Instruments. Electric Piano, which is also Native Instruments, Absinthe, Native Instruments, uh, the Moog Modular V, and another Compact, bunch of stuff in here. So most of it's Native Instruments, and we're going to walk through each channel here. So take a look down here. We have a bajillion channels loaded up here. Every time you load a soft synth, it automatically gives you the appropriate outputs routed to your mixer, ready to go. So at first... We actually have mostly MIDI channels here, all the ones that, that have the faders all the way down. These are the MIDI channels, or the channels controlling the soft synthesizer. And then after that, we have our audio channels. And beyond that, we have all of our soft synthesizer channels. So here's what I'd like to do. I'm just going to hit play. I'm going to go through this song, and we're going to listen to a few of the sounds I used and how I got them to sound the way that they do. So I'm going to hit space bar. And we are going to go through... Audio 5. Audio 5 is actually, what was it, a Nord keyboard that we plug direct, and it's completely dry. I haven't added any VST plugins to this at all, so you're just getting the direct sound out of the keyboard. So that's just an audio track. Very, very, very simple. Let's move to the next one. We got the kick drum from Battery. I, uh, put an ultra maximizer on it and the SSL channels plug in to give to, to give it a little EQ and uh, dynamics waves ultra ma maximizer it's a great plug in for kick drums moving right along the snare drum also from battery I imagine I put a little compression on it through the SSL plug in it's also waves And here we have hi-hat, I imagine. Yes, hi-hat. Put a little reverb on it. This is a Sapphire reverb. This came with our Focusrite Sapphire uh, hardware audio interface. It's a pretty decent plug-in for such a simple plug-in. And again, the SS channel, SSL channel. That's a lovely plug-in. I love it. What else do we got? The harp. Absolutely love this sound. So we have the SSL channel on it and a double delay. I'm going to take that off for a second. This is what it normally sounds like. This plugin is actually uh, native to Nuendo. It's one of Nuendo's plugins. Most of the plugins that came with it are pretty decent. Um, some of the parameters could be a little bit better, like their phaser. I think could have a little bit more versatility as far as the parameters go. Also, let me show you the soft synth that created it. So I'm going to hit F11. And we're looking at contact. This is the program, the, basically the sampler that's triggering all the harp sounds. Pretty cool stuff. 